Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you where to find all of the major resources that are in the upper yard in Grounded. So the four main things that you're going to be needing for a lot of these tier three crafting recipes, you know, yeah, pupa leather is one of them, pine cones, rust, lint rope. So these are all the four main things in the upper yard that you're going to be needing for a lot of these tier three crafting recipes. So I'm going to show you where to find all those things. First things first, I highly recommend that you have a means of getting up here into the upper yard quickly. My main base is right here, obviously, where most people start out, but I've got zip lines that take me straight up to the middle of the upper yard, and I've got zip lines that take me up here to my uh, little makeshift base here in the upper yard as well. I do recommend that you have a base up here because it's just gonna save you a lot of time to have you know, all of the main things that you need to make just easily accessible right here in the upper yard. So I took the time to at least just get something basic up and running, you know? And I think that's gonna serve you very, very well. I chose to put my base very close to this uh, bicycle that's laying down because there are tons of orb weavers that live right underneath that back tire. And that is such an easy way to get repair glue because spider chunks you can put in your glue masher and uh, obviously all these tier three things that you're going to be creating, they require a lot of glue to repair them while you're out and about. So that's why I chose to put my upper yard base right here for this playthrough. But let's go right down the list. We will start with pupa leather. And uh, the, there's two places where you can find this very easily. One is right underneath the deck here of the shed. So you go underneath the shed there, you're gonna find these pupa that are hanging down. I'll show you that. And then also up here near this stump, there's tons of pupa just kind of hanging in the, like uh, hanging hangover parts of the map. I'll show you, it's kind of hard to describe, but I'll get up there and I'll show you where those are at too. So we'll start with pupa. And I'll try to put timestamps on this as well so that whatever it is that you're looking for, you can just click and it'll take you right to it. All righty, so you see this deck up here and it's very close to my home. The only thing is that there's these ladybirds. And if you're equipped to take them out quickly, wonderful. If you're not, then you may want to avoid them. But see these little chunks that are hanging down? I've recently uh, gone through here and shot them all down and taken them. But there's going to be pupa that hang from, uh, from those muddy chunks up there. And there's several of them. There's also some upgrade rocks deeper up in there. But you see there's one back there. You see there's one over here. And the pupa are just gonna hang down from there, okay? Now, unfortunately, like I said, I just farmed these recently, so they haven't replenished yet, but they will respawn every few days. But uh, I'm gonna take you over here to the other side of the upper yard, and you can see them for yourself, okay? Okay, the next resource that we're gonna be looking for is lint. We need to make lint rope. It's very important for a lot of crafting recipes. So I'm gonna show you where to find it. And the lint rope can be found up on the shed deck. There's a doormat up there with a bunch of dust mites and chunks of lint, and we're gonna bash them up, take the lint and get out of there. A couple things to note up here. You do have black ants that are gonna spawn up here, soldier ants, and they are hostile. So you're gonna wanna take them out or run past them, whatever you're more comfortable with. If you're running a black ant shield, it's a good way to just to get some of these resources off of them really quickly for repair purposes. We see lots of ants up here. And there's a doormat right here. See this doormat? And you see the chunks up there, right? There's chunks on it, that's lint. That's what we want. There are other places to find it, but this is just the easiest, I think. So you just run up to it, chop it up, take the lint and go. Now the dust mites here, if they see you, they'll aggro on you and they'll shoot like chunks of dust at you that will slow you down, take your stamina away, Whoop, see they're shooting it at me. So just keep moving, grab the lint and go. But yeah, this is where the lint is. Now you take this lint back to your spinner and then you uh, you just use the spinner to craft lint rope. Just like you would uh, your spider web silk, all that stuff. But there you go, that's lint. That's the easiest place to find it. It's right next, this is a, again, this is where I, why I put my base where I did up here, because I have instant access to both pupa and to lint. Let's move on to rust. Rust is very important for a lot of crafting recipes at the tier three level. Now up here, there's a tire, and then there is a toolbox right above this field station in the upper yard. Okay, see where that is straight north of the middle of the koi pond. This little square right here, this little rectangle, that's a toolbox. 
Underneath that toolbox is a lot of rusted screws. We're gonna break those up. We're gonna collect the rust and you're gonna get a ton of rust in just one run and I'll show you. And that's probably gonna be all that you're gonna need for you know the first things that you're crafting. But uh, again, anytime you need rusty head over there and you're gonna walk out with a lot of it. Now this is a pretty perilous portion of the yard. This upper right hand corner of the map. There's a lot of things up here that are gonna wanna kill you. Black ox beetles, red fire ants, lots of spiders. There's several wolf spider spawns up here and the ladybirds. All of these things pose a threat to you. So you definitely wanna make sure that your armor is upgraded and that you can handle being in this area because it is a pretty dangerous place to be. Okay, now you see this is the big tire. Right there is that big red toolbox on the map that I showed you. Right underneath it is gonna be all the rust that we're gonna need for, you know, a good, a good while. You are gonna need to have a uh, tier three hammer, I believe, to harvest the rust though. So if you haven't got yourself one of these things yet, by the way, there's gum too, if you need gum chunks. But if you haven't uh, made yourself a black ox hammer yet, then you're gonna need to do that. Now, right here, there's gonna be rusty screws all over the place. I've already harvested some of them, so they're not visible, but uh, there's more back here that I didn't get. So, this is what they look like. Yep. Now, the rust is gonna pop out of the head of it, see? It's kinda hard to see in the uh, in the dirt. It'd be hard to spot. So you may have to look around for the rust bits that pop off. You hit it once, and right at the head, bingo, is where our rust chunks are gonna fall off. There you go. Now there's screws are all over the place here and you're gonna walk out of here with a ton of rust. So you can see we've already got rust, got lint. Now it's convenient that we're here because the other ingredient that is common in a lot of these tier three recipes is pine cones. So this right here is like pine cone heaven. They're gonna be all over up here. In fact, I see one right now. See it up there? Big old pine cone. Pardon me, ladybird. I'm not interested in a fight right now. I know you are, but I'm not. Now here you go, pine cone. These things are scattered all over the upper yard in this, um, just against this back wall. So all through, see where my cursor is? All through here, there's tons of pine cones just leaning up against walls and stuff. Check the cracks and the crevices, especially back against the uh, the shed wall there and the fence. They take a lot of damage to break. There. And then you can see these bits that drop off. That's your pine cone resource. That's another one right back here. Let's go bust it up. There is no shortage of these things. They are all over the place up here. If you just know what they look like and what to look for, you'll be all set. You can wrap around behind this giant paint bucket as well, and there's more of them. Plenty of them. So I'm gonna make my way over here to the stump where all the pupa are. Now this place is very dangerous. There's gonna be lots of things out there that are gonna wanna kill us. So, like I said, the easiest pupa to get is right underneath the deck there because it's not that dangerous. But if you need more of it because you don't get a lot of pupa leather out of those pupa, hang on, ladybird's back. By the way, there is a uh, milk molar back there in that pot while you're up here. You may as well grab it. But you see this big old stump off there in the horizon? Big old swampy area. This is where a ton of the pupa are gonna spawn. And they kind of look like brown cocoons that are hanging down. Oh, there's water right there. I may as well grab that, yeah? Now note that there are tiger mosquitoes in this area, in this swampy area. You can see one right there. Taking a look. They're pretty dangerous. They can be, at least. If they gang up on you in numbers, but do you see how there's a lot of these uh, dirt overhangs like this? You know, these like, that hang up over you? That's where you wanna be looking at is underneath those little overhangs for pupa. I see one right now, actually. Let me get this tick out of the way. So, I see right there. That's a pupa. They look like little cocoons. Now they don't tend to give you a lot out of one cocoon. That's why pupa leather I think is the most scarce resource in the upper yard. But we got two chunks of pupa hide out of that one pupa. 
With a pupa hide, you take back to the workbench. You use it to craft pupa leather, but I think it's a five to one. So that's pretty steep, pretty costly. I see some more right there. Just want to look underneath stuff. Here's two. Let's knock them down. You can also use your bow and arrow to knock them loose from high places. We got two out of that one. We got two out of that one. A ladybird there. Ladybird. Very common place to find wolf spiders. Up here they patrol. It, it probably wouldn't even be a bad idea to have your Mithridatism uh, perk active while you're cruising around up here. I know that right here is a common um, wolf spider patrol route, especially. I'm gonna drop down now. But I think pupa leather is the hardest thing to come by because you really have to be looking for it. You'll start to memorize the spots where they spawn, but it, this place can be a bit of a maze as well. There's another pine cone. If you're into that sort of thing. Aha, here we go. Bingo. Only one out of that. Lame! Only one out of that one, too. But there you go. You get the idea. This whole swampy area and under the deck for the pupa. There's just some right here on the ground, actually. How convenient. I usually try to take some time to kill some fire ants while I'm up in this area too, because I, I like to run the uh, ah, fire ant shield. And it requires body parts for, from fire ants to repair it. This pink car, by the way, has a milk molar in it and some up, a bunch of really nice upgrade rocks in the trunk. But there you have it. Those are the four main upgrade resources in the upper yard. Your pine cones, your pupa, your lint, and your rust. So I hope you found this helpful. Hopefully now you know where to go. And sometimes it's just, they're all kind of in a semi-circular arc here. If you start here with the pupa leather, and the lint, and then you just come down, you get your rust, more pupa and pine cones through here, and then just make your way back. You can knock out all of these resources in one quick trip. All in all, it would only take you 10 to 15 minutes probably of farming just to get a bunch of those resources ready to go. Here's one of my zip lines that takes me straight to the upper yard from, uh, from the tree. But best of luck to you and all of your farming endeavors. Hopefully you found this helpful. And uh, look forward to catching you maybe in the next video. Bye-bye.